I mean, for real though. Is Charles really done with Candace? Let's be honest. Are those two really done with each other? I think the obvious answer is no for a lot of reasons. Number one, Charles is set to be in season seven, which is, I guess, the best way to label season seven is, hey, that's the Jeffrey Owens season. That's the season Jeffrey Owens will be appearing in the show as a senator. And he knows Charles. So Charles is going to be sticking around for quite some time. And if Charles is really done with Candace, then that's a huge, I guess you could say, that the anchor is lifted. Like if Candace, was, uh, assuming he and David aren't even working together because David knows Charles. Let's say, you know, if those two aren't working together against Candace and, you know, he's completely cut ties with Candace, the anchor has been lifted and Charles is just going to sail away into the White House. So that would mean he would have little to no reason to be in the show, correct? So I think it is safe to assume that he and Char- uh, he and Candace will get back in some way, shape, or form. I think the biggest indication of that is the fact that not only does he care about Candace a lot, but it's the fact that, as Charles stated, Candace doesn't want to help her. It's like they say, you can't help those who don't want to help themselves. Like, literally, you, you can't help it. Like, Charles thought he could change her. He thought he could make a full transformation, but... It's not that Candace doesn't want to change. I think it's the fact that Candace doesn't want to let anyone in. And yes, you know, even as Charles said, you can't talk to me like that again. It's like, well, that's who I am. I think that's just, I don't think that's really about, you know, Candace not letting him in. It's like, you know, well, well, technically in a way it was like, look, this is between me and my mother. You sit down and shut up. That's pretty much what was going on there. So Charles not liking that was willing to throw her ass out of the uh, truck himself. But, you know, because of the press and Landon, he didn't do it. But um, in the next episode, you know, he, he and Landon are, you know, supposedly going to get drunk. It seems like Landon might make a pass at him, but then end up being, uh, you know, kicked out of the room. <laughs> and then he talks to Candace about it. So that might actually prove that, yeah, Charles is not gay. But Landon, after talking with Candace, decides to take a shot and, you know, he wasn't wearing a bulletproof vest. So in any case, um, the question is, who will be the one to make the first move? I'm going to be honest here. I think Charles might do it. But at the same time, there's a lot about Charles we don't know because a lot of people have been hitting me up. It's like Jeremy, man, looking at the way Charles is acting, he probably has like a bad side. He's kind of like Quincy, but in a suit. Yeah, I don't imagine. I don't think he's the type to beat down women and all. Like he said, what, do I need to like, knock your ass down but he was pretty much emulating you know what candace is used to through guys like quincy but remember he did say to land that you know he and candace aren't too dissimilar from each other because he came up from like a rough neighborhood and whatnot in a rough lifestyle but then cleaned himself up so who knows he might have pulled a david and pimp slapped a few bitches so we don't know but i'm just saying that I think the fact that it's kind of like the Veronica RK thing where Veronica, we do know that, you know, she did plan to have him killed to pin Jeffrey on it. So he goes to jail. But, um, yeah, I I don't know. I mean, it's just the fact that he refuses to take no for an answer and does what he pleases when she's used to any man doing what she wants them to kind of like. Charles the fact that Candace is being difficult but just the fact that he was willing to throw her out of the truck himself lets me know that Landon's stories about these females who have disappeared they might not be as far-fetched as we thought they were but I feel like it's just something about Candace that it's like he said like I said over and over again I know you're hurting I know you're in pain I care about you and stuff like that it's hard to tell if he's felt that way towards anybody else that's the main thing here but Overall, guys, I do feel like there is a very good chance that Charles and Candace will most likely get back together. How? I don't know. But let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. And honestly, I don't think they should get together. But at the same time, you know how the power of plot is. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as leaving your thoughts in the comment section below so we can keep the conversation going. On the left hand side of the screen, you should see a picture of Jeffrey Harrington. You can click on him in order to subscribe, but also hit the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content. 
Also, you should see some videos appearing on the screen as well that I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy if you enjoyed the one you just saw. But also, be sure to follow me on social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all my social media will be in the description below. And in order to help this channel hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to need your help. So make sure to share this video as well as the channel around with all of your friends on your own social media. But once again, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you all in the next video.